Hey YouTube, SoCal Sniper back again. Today I'm going to go over a little tech tip on uh, aiding in your, uh, on how to help aid in your cooling on your uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. Now these things come with this little tiny radiator, and I mean it's about an inch thick, and apparently this is all you can buy for them because I've hunted all over the internet trying to find an all aluminum one or a two core or anything like that. Couldn't find one, so I'm going to try and do a few other upgrades to help this thing cool. This thing had a clutch fan on it, laying over there in the dirt, that somebody had added to it. I just bought it because my wife told my other one, at T-boned, going over an overpass. So, swapping some parts over and stuff like that. Just picked this one up a few weeks ago. But uh, anyhow, I just wanted to go over a few little small mods. A lot of you guys already know this, but some of you guys may not. I like to take and drill a small hole in the, the thermostat. This helps to uh, get air out while you're uh, <clears throat> while you're filling the system up with coolant. Always put that hole towards the top because you know air rises and all that. Now another thing you can do on these Jeeps is see they have this orifice right here that feeds over to this uh, temperature sensor which I believe is for the electric fans. Now it has a gasket that goes in between that keeps the water from bypassing and just going right around the thermostat all the time. Now, what I've done here is see I've cut a little notch into there that lines up uh, my thermostat would stay in place. Let's just get that out of the way for right now. And that allows it to bypass constantly. Now I've never tried this mod before but I figured it would probably work out really well. I guess I should look at the screen. Um, and aiding in the cooling of this thing constantly. So we're going to try it out and I'll uh, once I get all this stuff done and get it all fired up and stuff I'll show you guys how it, uh, like what temperature it runs at and whatnot. Oh and by the way I'm also putting in a, uh, this is a 180 degree thermostat instead of a 195. Um, there's the part number if anyone's interested. Oh, anyhow, uh, give me a minute to get all this stuff done. Thanks to the glory of editing, and I'll be back. Okay, well, I've got the thermostat installed, new coolant in there, new electric fan. Uh, electric fan and everything's all the same. The only thing I changed is made the, those two small mods. Um, dropped the temperature 10 degrees on the thermostat, made that little slit. Oh, I also added water wetter to it just because I think it's a really good additive. But uh, anyhow, I've um, been driving it, engine idling and everything, and as you can see, the temperature is still running pretty much the same temperature, um, seeing idling, uh, but I had absolutely no problems filling up the water, getting air bubbles out, none whatsoever, I mean, and do notice when you drive down the road, it cools about down about 10 degrees more, <coughs> and uh, the fans hardly come on at all um, but it does come on so it's working but yeah no bad side effects that I can see so far if I have any check engine lights or anything like that in the next couple days I'll be sure to put that on the video uh, I also added a uh, K&N um, air cleaner the full air tube and everything um, got off eBay it was like 180 190 bucks but uh added a nice little sound and definitely some performance gains taking that that uh, clutch fan setup off I mean you can definitely feel that combined with the air cleaner definitely feel that it's probably taking at least second and a half off of zero to 60, 60 time um, but anyhow uh, just keep following this playlist I'm going to do more mods to this motor like I did the last one and I want to report good, bad, or indifferent. So, anyhow, thanks for watching.